Landon McBroom has found himself getting called out once again for his weird posts on Snapchat. These posts go far beyond clickbait and it's like he's asking for trouble when he's posting this kind of stuff. Previously, he had been called out for clickbaiting a ton, especially clickbait that surrounds his daughter, women pretending to be pregnant, and old photos of his ex-girlfriend, Shyla Walker, when she was actually pregnant with their daughter. It became a regular thing for him to post clickbait using Shyla, even when he had a girlfriend. They ended up breaking up and she said the reason why was because he was posting Shyla and she didn't appreciate him posting his ex-girlfriend on his Snapchat. Well, he was posting seen his ex-wife from one day like randomly just like that and i know you guys noticed i noticed as soon as i saw that that broke my heart of course like my mental illness was like my mental health was just Shyla spoke out a couple times criticizing the platform for even allowing him to be able to post things like this on there, but he's only continued and it's only gotten weirder, you guys. Recently, Landon faked this whole story on his Snapchat talking about a friend who was in labor with her first child, and he was going to be right by her side to help her through it. The issue is, the whole thing is fake. So it started out with him saying, my friend is about to give birth, we have to go to the hospital, like, now. Then he posts from the labor and delivery check-in saying, here we go, and here we go. We're going on a ride with Landon, that's for sure. He then posts this, we're still waiting, they are going to bring her in any moment, she's 100% giving birth, tonight and obviously we can't see who it is because he doesn't want us to think that he's a weirdo just quite yet with using old photos then he says i'm so nervous i feel like i'm the one giving birth and then finally there's this picture that said i'm here with her for the birth of her first child because the father isn't around and her family hasn't arrived yet so i'm being there for her and still giving her that help and comfort i mean He's trying to seem like a good guy and he's created this whole story and it's not real. Because, yep, you guessed it, all of these photos are from when Shyla gave birth to their daughter. Yeah, he was painting this whole fake story to make it seem like he was there for a friend being such a good person, so amazing, helping her out, when in fact he's just using old photos of Shyla on his Snapchat once again for clickbait. One Reddit user was able to actually recognize that it was Shyla because they posted a birth vlog at the time because him and Shyla did have a couple's channel called LNS, and in some of the clips of their birth vlog, you see Shyla in a recovery room, and it is the same recovery room as these photos from Landon's story on his Snapchat. And yeah, I'm sure that many people give birth in this hospital, but the fact that the foot is like positioned in the same exact way, and it just, it's very clear that this is Shyla. And also stating that he's done this many times, where he's used photos of Shyla from the past. Everyone is just under the assumption it's once again gotta be Shyla. And like I said, it's really not hard to believe given that this is such a big pattern with him and he continues to do it even though he's gotten called out for it by a bunch of people, by not only people online, but by Shyla herself. And she even recently mentioned that he's been sent a cease and desist because he just wouldn't stop posting her. On her own Snapchat story, she recently got a message where someone said, no, he actually posted a pic saying he was thankful for you and how you taught him a lot about being a father when you all had soul. It wasn't negative. I actually almost started unfollowing him when I saw that. It made me smile because you're an amazing mother and he's blessed to have you as a kid's mother. She said, none of it's real. It's a tactic to look like a nice, good guy. I consent to none of it. He's been sent cease and desist. Another person had also come out and said to her, it was the fact that he posted without covering baby girls face two. She said he's violated every term of our custody and privacy agreement, unfortunately. God willing, this will be mine and my daughter's year of justice and peace. Another person brought up to her the fact that Landon had once again posted her and her daughter and said, Landon just posted you and your daughter. She said, especially in National DV Month, I'd like to show you what it's like to co-parent with your abuser and why you should leave at the first sign, not give chances or even custody chances. It's incredibly hard to have your known and documented abuser continue to harass you publicly and privately and for it to be monetized is 
is disgusting. Another person on Snapchat said, always praying for your safety because of this. And she said, thank you. Pray for my baby girl. I worry the most when she's with him. But Landon doesn't seem to care at all what Shyla thinks as he continues to post content that she doesn't like. It's truly so crazy and weird, but that's Landon, I guess, and not even a cease and desist is about to stop him, it seems. The funniest part to me about all of this, though, is the fact that he recently did a Q&A on his Snapchat where he was talking about the content that he puts out there, and he had the audacity to say that he tries to be real with his followers. Like, what? Nothing about this is real, and it's actually crazy for him to try and act like it is, and then double down on it, too. As an influencer, what is the biggest impact you'd like to make using your platform? I think I would like to just keep it real all the time, let you guys know that everything is not sunflower and daisies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a lot of people played, like, the too cool role on social media, and then that their life is amazing, and that every day something's popping when it's not. A lot of things are very regular. A lot of people that you look up to, their lives are very similar to yours. They might have a little bit more money, but their lives, their problems, all that stuff is the same. So that's probably one of my goals. This isn't the only question he ended up answering during that Q&A, as he also answered a question about Shyla. Do you get along with your baby mama? And I wonder why they're not on good terms. Like he keeps posting her on his Snapchat, using these old pictures, posting their daughter on Snapchat, even though she said many times she doesn't want their daughter to be on social media. So he's doing all these things that she already doesn't like, getting a cease and desist, and then he's sitting there just like, you know, wondering why they're not getting along. I mean, it's so clear why they're not getting along. And he's obviously doing it and not caring because the revenue on Snapchat is apparently really good and creators have been seeing a lot of good come out of it and posting on there and doing the clickbait. But there's so many people that have been criticizing him and obviously Shyla has criticized him. And I just can't believe that there's not some part of him that's like, maybe I just like shouldn't do that anymore for the sake of my daughter and her seeing her parents get along. And also like my reputation online, like I don't want to be known as like this weirdo guy that's like obsessed with posting pregnancy stuff and like faking women giving birth and all that like who wants to be known as the guy that's posting that i don't know why that's like his favorite thing to be known as because he keeps continuing to do it despite what other people are saying about it it's weird now these things weren't the only things that landon had been called out for as of recent people had also talked about the fact that he on his snapchat had recently talked about how many kids he wanted and his answer was very interesting to some at least to say publicly i have one child a daughter who is three turning four in december um i would like to have two more kids ideally i'll do three like my max max is four and the only way i'm having four kids is if i have two more daughters because if i have three daughters i'm gonna try one more time for a boy and if somehow i have four girls i'm cutting my peter off some just felt like to publicly admit that if you had two girls before a boy, they just would have been whatever compared to this golden guy that you want at the end of the day. I mean, if I heard someone say that and I was the middle child, I'd be like, damn, ouch, like, so I was a bummer? Like, you were disappointed when you found out about me? But I mean, seriously, you know, to publicly do this and put it online for them to potentially see one day, it's just a little, eh, I don't know, makes me feel bad for them. I know it's a thing where people feel gender disappointment, but publicly, maybe we just don't put that on blast. But that's what's been going on in this family as of recent. What do you guys think about Landon's fake little birth story using Shiloh's pictures? And do you think he'll eventually put this all to rest? Do you think that he'll just one day realize that it's weird and stop doing it? Or do you think he's just gonna keep going? I honestly thought that he might have run out of pictures a long time ago, but then he started reusing them. So I don't know what his plan is, but it's clearly to keep pretending that people are pregnant. And I just, I also just don't understand this obsession with people clicking on baby pregnancy, all that type of stuff. It's so interesting how people find it interesting. And that is like the top thing that's clickbaited on there. But let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.